Good morning guys, welcome back to another Watch Me Teach. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I'm a third grade teacher in Central California. This week we're in Unit 6, Week 5 of Wonders McGraw-Hill. That means we are in the last official week of the last official unit in Wonders. We're towards the end of the year, we have officially 19 days left of school, but do not get it twisted. These last 19 days are going to be insane. Today's already insane, guys. Uh, as you will see, um, this this technically recess, so we've had our morning. Um, you will see the frustration. And my God, I'm about to freaking Hulk smash my face on this freaking table because I cannot. <sighs> they're in this like phase where they like they're starting to be too cool for things, and I'm not a fan. I'm not digging it. You are not too cool for school, my friends. This week we are reading a poem. So the genre is poetry. That means we're going to see things like rhythm and rhyme. Rhythm is when we can read things to a certain beat. What can you do? by each stanza. Okay, so keep in mind, in a story, when we see different breaks in the writing, those are called paragraphs, okay? But in a poem, they are called stanzas. Ollie escaped in the classroom, and that was an awful mistake. It would have been falling. Try to catch all says all these seven Okay, so do you hear that as we read that, it follows a certain rhythm. Right? So we're gonna clap to the rhythm. So we're gonna read that first stanza again. But show me hands. No. Ready? We're gonna clap. Ready? Go. Ollie escaped in the classroom, and that was an awful mistake. It would have been Ollie. See how we all end up clapping on the same beat? Yeah. Because the poem, the way that it's written, follows a certain rhythm. Can I do that again? Okay. Which words rhyme here? Someone raise your hand. Tell me what Ollie. words rhyme. Ollie. Ollie. Folly and Ollie rhyme. There's a couple other words that rhyme. Wait, what is that her name? Ollie. I don't know. Ollie escaped in the classroom. And that was an awful mistake. It would have been Polly to try to. Polly said Polly's a seven foot snake. Polly oh, We already have Polly and Ollie. What's another one that right? Isn't Polly Polly? 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 What? Polly. What Do you see Polly on this page? No. No. Polly and Ollie rhyme. What other two words rhyme? They don't have to rhyme with Polly and Polly. Rhymes also tend to happen at the end of the lines. See how Folly and Ollie are both at the end? 
So let's go ahead and look at the end of these lines. We have classroom. This classroom and mistake rock. Folly and Ollie and classroom. What about escape and mistake? What makes Ollie and Folly run? Ollie, Folly. They have two L's. Ollie, no, oh. Folly. The Ollie. The Y. Ollie. Folly. Polly. 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 Crawly. Crawly. The Dolly. Dolly. Those all rhyme. Because This I E makes the same sound as the Y. That's what makes them rhyme. Stop. Okay. So, do classroom and mistake? Do they have the same end sound? Classroom, mistake. Does it sound at all the same? No. No, not at all. Okay. What about, my only other word that I have here is snake. Does snake rhyme with classroom or mistake? Mistake. Classroom, snake. Do those rhyme? Snake. No. Snake. What about mistake, snake? Mistake, snake. Mistake, snake. Because they have the A-K-E. A K E. So Folly and Ollie, they sound exactly the same at the end, but they're spelled a little different, and that's okay. For these ones, we have mistake and snake. Mistake. They have the same A K E A K E. That's what makes them run. And then, what's a word in this stanza that we don't really know? We don't hear all the time. Ollie escaped in the classroom. And that was an awful mistake. Right. It would have been folly to try to catch Ollie since Ollie's a seven foot snake. What Ollie, word in there Ollie. do you not know? Not asking, I am not asking about rhyme anymore. I'm asking what word. Do you, that's in here? Are you like, what the heck does that mean? Angel. Do you know what a seven foot snake is? Oh God. Do you know those words? No. Do you know what seven foot means? No. Yeah, seven foot Do you know what the number seven means? Yeah. Do you know what foot means? Yeah. Do you know what snake means? Yeah. Then you know those words. What word do you not know? Okay. Do you know, do we know what Ollie? Yeah. yeah. It's the name of the snake. Escape. Do you know what that means? Yeah. In yeah. the yeah. classroom. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. that yeah. was yeah. an yeah. awful yeah. mistake. Yeah. It would have been folly. Do you know what folly means? Do you know what folly means? Can you explain what folly means? Wait, folly is like stepping folly out of the sky? Not falling. Folly. No. Folly. 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 No, we don't know what that means. Okay? We don't know what folly means. Circle. Well, we to try, do you know what it means to try? Mm -hmm. Do you know what it means to catch? Mm -hmm. We know Ollie. Mm -hmm. Since Ollie, and then we already went over seven foot snake. Mm -hmm. So the word that we do not know is folly. Okay, now, if I don't know what folly is, I'm going to look at context clues. That means I'm going to look at other words in this stanza that might tell me or give me a hint to what folly means. Put your eyes back in the front of your head, please. Okay, 
So, folly. Do I think this is something that means something good or something that means something bad? Something bad. Something good. Do you get good vibes or bad vibes from it would have been folly to try to catch Ollie? That's a bad idea. Do you think idea. it would have been a good thing to try to catch Ollie or a bad thing to try to catch Ollie? Good. 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 Yeah, good. You want it out Show of me your thumbs room? up if you think it'll be good if folly means good. Thumbs down if you think folly means it's something bad. Okay. It would have been folly to try to catch Ollie since Ollie's a seven like foot snake. Like you want the seven foot snake out of the Do you want to catch a seven foot snake? I know. Well, there was nine. Heck no. Bad vibes all the way. I don't want to catch a seven foot snake. Okay. And they say it would have been folly to try to catch Ollie. So a clue for some bad vibes is that Ollie is a seven foot snake. Folly? Have to do with catching a seven foot snake? Mm -hmm. I don't want to do it, so it's probably not a good idea. Some other things within the stanza, it's, we get some more words that kind of mean some negative things. Escape. Is that normally a good thing or a bad thing? Bad. If something escapes, right? If we think escape, we think an animal escaped. A lion escaped the zoo. The snake escaped the, snake the, classroom. Escaped the classroom. A prisoner escaped the jail. Those tend to be negative things, right? All bad vibes. So escape is kind of negative. Another word. Another word. We have awful. Is awful good or bad? Bad. Bad. So we have, let's try it over here. So I have the word escape. Where is my pen? Right there. So, I have the word escape. I have the word awful. I have the word mistake. And I know that we're talking about a seven foot snake. So, do these things seem like a go? Or do these things seem like a negative? Show me thumbs up, thumbs down. Right? I get all bad vibes from this. So, this means that folly probably means something bad. negative. Why can't you search it up? Like, what does folly I can't. Mean? But if you don't have your phone to immediately look up what folly means, this is what you have Ask to do people. to kind of solve it. Okay, well, I'm seeing all these negative words. So, I think folly probably means something negative. He wiggled. Ready? We're going to clap it out as we read. Ready? Go. He wiggled his way towards the teacher. Whoa, okay, okay. Slow down. Turn it over. Slow down. Ready? Listen first and then jump in. Ready? Go. He wiggled his way towards the teacher. He jumped on her neck to the screen. Faster and faster. He wiggled right past her. And all in the middle of the Oh, it's so easy. Okay, so something that is hmm is funny and makes people laugh. Can I tell you what it is? Yeah, what is it? You didn't see the answer that was right over there? No, I don't see it because people laugh. Okay. So, something that is funny and makes people laugh. Right. The message for your face, not your head. Right. And do rhymes make you laugh? No. None of us are laughing while we're trying to figure out the rhymes in our poem. Let's no. So let's go through. Something that's funny and makes people laugh. Is that ridiculous? Yeah. No. <laughs> A narrative poem? No. Rhyme? No. 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 Slither? No. Humorous? Yes. yes. Something's humorous. Humor Someone makes not. us laugh. No, you're fine. So, yes. Oh, humorous. Oh. Good job. Number two, words that end in the same sound, like moon and spoon. It's moving, 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 moving. It's a spoon. What is it? Rhyme. Rhyme. Moon. Spoon. Oh, tune. Moon. Tune. Bloom. Moon. Okay, those moon. all rhyme. You got it. Number three, something that. Hmm. Something that hmm, slid or glided like a snake. Someone raise their hand, tell me this word. Raise your hand, tell me. You're gonna have to read them on the text. And, and so also up here. Slither. 
slithered, yes. Slid or glided like a snake is slithered. Ridiculous. If someone's being silly, it's like, oh my gosh, you guys are being ridiculous. Or if you're being foolish, how many times have you heard me say, you haven't done your homework? That is ridiculous. What do you mean you haven't done your homework? It's not every Wednesday. That is ridiculous. Every Wednesday, we finish our Monday Tuesday. Yeah. So, ridiculous. Silly. How so ridiculous. Or foolish. This is ridiculous. Wait, what? Okay. Number eight, last one. Blank is something that interests you or amuses you. That, uh, that word is entertainment. Entertainment. It interests you. You're amused. Entertainment. You want to go Okay, go ahead, put your books away. We're going to go into now. I want to play the game. Fifteen divided by three. Write that at the top of your board. This is basically one of my big whiteboard. So don't write it in the middle. Write it kind of big near the top. We're going to turn this into an array. What's the first step I need to do? Build big, three big circles. Okay, this is an array. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, oh, X's. X, X, X's. We don't normally do X's. We normally do circles or squares there. Well, fifteen and. Squares and then. How do I put them though? Here's what we do. I see this three. Yeah. This tells me I can either do three going across or three going down. So let's do one, two, three. Now what do I need to do? We have to do like 15. We have to do like We don't know how many goes across until we keep doing that same pattern and we get to 15. So now what do I do from here? We count from the top how many we have and yes. it will equal by yes. So do we erase it? Yes, once you have it, I need to show it to me and then you can erase it. That's equal groups. I want an array.
We count how many are they? Twenty. There's twenty. We already know there's twenty. But there's five. Five what? Why do we put 16? Why do we? already have 16 there because 16 is right there. So, Where do we count? 16. Yeah, but that's this. That's how we knew to do this many. In our array, we always count what? By five. In our array, we always count by five? Yeah. What numbers do we count? Where do we find mom and baby? Uh huh. Yeah, so if this is dad, this is all of this, then we have mom. And then baby is. Yeah. Okay, yeah. your homework is. No, no. Your homework is on the board under Thursday. If you still need to do Wednesday, you know where to find it. If you do not have any questions, you may go. Bye. 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 She's on her tablet because she's learned that I can see her computer screen if she plays games. Hi, you're not playing your tablet. Class time is class time. You're not playing your tablet and running back here. You've done nothing today. You didn't do your spelling. You didn't do your grammar. You didn't do your math. What have you been doing on your tablet? If I don't let you play games on your computer in class, I'm not cool with you playing games on your tablet and not even being here. Okay, where's your grandma? Can you hear me okay? Hi, okay, has done nothing today. She's been running to play games on her tablet all day. No, I've been watching her run back there and play on a tablet. She was on a tablet. I saw her. I don't care. There's a lot going on. I know you got a lot on your plate, but I'm just letting you know where she was at today. Yeah, she's a smart cookie. She knows. It's okay. I just wanted to let you know. I know you got a lot going on. Nope, you're okay. I just wanted to let you know. We'll try again tomorrow. <sighs> okay. Yeah. So as you can see, our families are having a hard time too. And despite 
how frustrated I get. When you hear the chaos in the background, you know it's hard to concentrate. Yeah, I can't give too much information, but every student is different, every family is different. So we have to be aware of that. And as much as I appreciate grace towards me, I have to remember the giving that to my families, which is, I can be so frustrated in the moment. And as soon as I start actually talking to them about what's going on, maybe I hear the chaos going in the background or just whatever it is, immediately it tones down as it should because we are all going through a lot right now in this year. So if anything, listen to your kiddos, give them grace, um, love them, <laughs> that's all. So um, I guess we'll just end it on that note. All right, so thank you for joining me on another Watch Me Teach. I have no idea what we'll be doing the next two weeks since we are completely done with our wonders unit. Ooh, maybe throw some science, social studies in there. Whatever it is, stay tuned. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.